Cursor doesn't come with an inbuilt testing system. Implementing a testing system will improve the application with less errors. 42% of the application working without testing and 93% of the app working with testing. You get much better designs with less errors. We want AI agent to automatically generate the test case for backend testing, for frontend testing, simulating clicks, automate coding and analysis for any errors. We are going to see how an application like this with loads of errors is fixed quickly just within the cursor interface using the power of MCP. So this involves three different steps. First, as a user, you're going to ask cursor to build an application. So once after you build an application, by default, it contains errors. So that need to be tested and the test result is again sent back to cursor to fix the application. As a result, the errors in the application are going to be lower and you can automate this process regularly. And I'm going to take you through step by step on how in cursor you can integrate this testing system. Then this automatically tests, write all the tests and report any errors back to cursor to make the application less error prone. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Whenever you create an application using cursor, Winsor, or any other application, you need to have tests built in. Only then, cursor should be able to fix the issue. But without this system, it's more likely we are going to end up getting errors. So here is the application which you have built using cursor. So here is the prompt I gave. I want to create a Jira-like app, write a product requirement document. So based on that, it wrote this product requirement document to create a Jira-like application. And it named the application as task flow. Then I provided an empty folder backend and frontend and said, now create the application. Then it went on creating all the required files with all the code, as you can see here. At the end, you'll have the application ready. But when I started running this, I can see that most of it is a placeholder and I can see loads of bugs there. But if I'm going to manually write all the testing myself and test whether this item is able to move from here to here, whether this button, if I click like this, it'll work or not. If I go to dashboard, will it work? If I log out and log in, is it going to work? So all of things, we need to automate a system for testing. Even if we change any design, automatically the testing system should update itself. That's when we have test sprite easiest AI agent for software testing and mainly we'll be focusing on setting up this test sprite in cursor so that we can have the automatic feedback loop to make our application better. Already I have this application but I want to make sure that this application is without errors before publishing it to the production. So first time I'm going to install the test sprite MCP. So clicking on install and going to click add to cursor and it will pop up a message like this, I'm going to open cursor. So that will bring up this MCP server installation in cursor. So now you need to add an API key, which you can get it from test sprite. And we are able to start completely for free and you got 150 credits every month to run your test for free. And thanks to test sprite for sponsoring this video. So after signing in, I can generate my API key from here. So once after you generate your API key, enter that here in cursor and then click install. Now automatically you can see the MCP server added here with six different tools and I have turned it on in cursor. So here is my default application which contains frontend and then backend. So I need to start my frontend and backend. So going to frontend and starting it and then opening a new terminal, they're going to backend and running it. So both endpoint is ready. Now opening cursor sidebar by pressing command I. So what I'm going to say is, can you please Test with test sprite and then I'm going to drag the front end folder here and then clicking send. So this is the first step to initialize test sprite. Now cursor goes and analyzes the folder and understand what this application is all about. And now here you can see it automatically calls the MCP and is opening this localhost 3000 URL automatically. And that MCP opened this URL for me. This is running locally. As you can see here is running in localhost. So now I'm going to enter my login details for the application, admin and the password. Next I can upload the P 
PRD document, so clicking this. So this is the first PRD.MD document which we created using cursor, just opening it, so that TestBright understand what the application is all about. And we know that the application default front end is 3000, so that's what I've entered here. And clicking continue, and I can see that uploaded success, the page will close automatically, clicking OK. Now if I come back to cursor, I can see that it got the configuration saved. Now it's generating code summary. And this is just a summary of all the pages you got so that it can automatically create all the test case scenarios. And here you are, you got all the list of pages or the files with a short description. And also it's generating its own PRD document. It's much more optimized for its own purpose. Next it's creating a test plan and this is all automated. I'm not doing anything, it's automatically running within my cursor. If I open my folder, I can see it automatically created the test sprite test folder with temp, PRD files, code summary, config, standard PRD.json. Now as a result, the front end test plan is completed and now it's asking me to run this command, clicking run. Now it's writing me the test report and here's the final report and it's also available in HTML format, so I'm going to open it. And here's the AI testing report and you can clearly see user registration. User registration failed, so that's a big error there. And it's listing all the list of errors and the things which passed. User login success, user login failure with incorrect password is passed. And you can see all the things. So it automatically ran all the tests and gave me this report. Now, considering we got these errors, we need to fix these errors. So coming back to cursor, what I'm going to do is drag this report in cursor composer, then going to say fix all these errors. That's it. At the same time, if you go to testsprite.com and go to MCP test, there you will see all the tests it ran. And you can see some failed and some passed. The video recording is also in TestSprite. So you understand what it did. So based on the test result, it's automatically creating the list of things to do in cursor and it's going to one by one as you can see here. So in cursor, we can see that it automatically fixed all these issues with user registration, archive project, bulk operation, drag and drop issues fixed, list view, responsive design, and this is all done, which wasn't done before. So when you do wipe coding, you might miss all these areas, but TestSprite was able to identify the issues, report it back to cursor, and able to fix all these issues just in few minutes. And now let's see the application, how it looks like. And this is how you looked before. Now going to refresh. I refresh that, viewing project. Let's view the board. And now you can see there's a tick mark where I can move to different area in review, or I could even delete the selected. I can go back to projects. I can see all the list of issues, click on issue. And here you can see issue details, type task, assigned, unassigned, project name, created, and you can add comments as well. And that is really nice. I can even edit this issue and this is really nice. So I don't see any errors in here. So all the errors automatically taken care of by test. Now I can further modify, add any new features. And if I want any testing, I can again tell TestSprite to run the test and feed it back to cursor. As simple as that. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And you started for free, can do your backend testing, frontend testing, and much more. Considering you already like this video, I also created another video about TestSprite for beginners. I highly recommend for you to watch. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.